This video is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> but how else is anyone gonna know that we're the main character? Did you ever think about that? Be very afraid. Yeah! Hi, it's Kathleen, and if you didn't know, fall is my favorite season. I'm a Scorpio. It's the best looking season in my opinion. I mean, have you seen these things? Ah, woo guy, am I right? And I like my outfits like I like my popcorn. Layered with butter. So this week, let's shop our own wardrobes and put together some fall outfits. Specifically, we're gonna be focusing on layers. Like I said, we're gonna be leaning into the autumn vibe with color palette, whether that's more over the garden wall or more Nightmare on Elm Street. We'll see where we fall. Am I using this as an excuse to force myself to get dressed during the week because I work from home and sometimes I just wanna wear this. What's that? Oh, and while there's a time and a place for cozy mode, just like there's a time and a place for suit mode, let's see if we can get inspired with some cute fall outfits. But first, before we do any of this, I haven't pulled out my cold weather clothing from storage. I got no sweaters, I got no cozies. So let's fix that, let's make the switch. There you are. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. I have approximately 15 minutes before I have to go to work. My winter stuff. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed that this is all I have. So here's the goal. We're gonna look through this. We're gonna hold every item close and tight and give it a good sniff. That's not necessary. And ask ourselves, do we want to wear this this fall winter season? And if the answer is no, we say goodbye. Seems simple enough. Starting with these North Face camp booties that I thrifted. These are staying and I'm actually putting them on right now. Fashion, yellow clueless blazer. That's really thick and warm. You're staying. Snow pants, you're staying, but I don't know if you need to come out yet. You'll stay on deck. Ooh, my really cute woven mini vest that I got in Japan, obviously staying. Did not get nearly enough wear out of this last year. Hand knitted cardigan with little puff sleeves. Ugh, you're staying. Another vintage cardigan with just the coolest color bands around the neckline. I love the tag. It's nice and comfortable whatever you do and wherever you go. Vintage labels, they did it best. It's so cool, as I look at this tub, I'm reminded of so many videos we've made in the past. Like we have my Chihiro sweater from my DIYing Loewe dupes video, another sweater vest. I kind of have a sweater vest problem. I already have like quite a few in my closet as it is. Rut row. What is this? Stretchy knitted polo dress. Hello. I missed you. Keep, 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 keep. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep everything. What I do need is to get dressed. Day one outfit commence. And guess what? I already have an idea. Wow. Come with me. I wanna try and focus on different silhouette types every day to keep it from getting too repetitive. I just pulled this out of my winter clothes. So today's main piece that's gonna provide our silhouette. Oh, it's upside down. This, oh, this little vintage, slightly Western inspired striped dress. Also, is this not the coolest logo you've ever seen? I think this was for like an alpaca convention, 1974. Can we just make logos like this again? Cowards. Look at this guy. Look at that face you handsome devil. So this is gonna serve as the base of our outfit and then I have a couple ideas of how we can make it really something special, I hope. Let's try her on. Cool, uh, she is a bit wrinkly. Will I iron this? You know, realistically what's gonna happen is at some point during the day, I'm gonna get bored and to take a break, uh, I'll iron my dress because that's the exciting life that I'm living. So I either wanted to put a graphic tee over top and kind of have a baggy with a baggy silhouette, or I wanted to try kind of like a longer tunic layer. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like the graphic tee approach, but let's just try it first. Not as bad as I thought, probably because we have Spooky Snoopy and he can do no wrong. And I do feel like I could accessorize this in such a way that I would feel good and cool. But let's try a slightly different piece on top. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. This is a little bit of like a longer rectangle that's not as wide. So it creates a little more structure up top and that plays really nicely with the floofiness down here. This is how I think about outfits and their shapes. Treat them more like an artistic composition. If you've seen my outfit recipes videos, you'll be familiar with that. But I just think that's a more fun way to think about your fashion versus what's flattering or what I'm supposed to wear. No, you're a piece of art, baby. Even though you're very stinky in the best way. We could leave it here. I kind of want some like some sort of tassel, some sort of hanging down piece. I don't know why. I'm always down for a tassel. Let's let's try some belts out. 
Where are you, Belty? Hold, please. Well, what do you think? I wasn't able to find my Obi style tassely belt. So I went with this one and it gives a totally different energy. It makes this really cool like V shape. It's very chunky. It feels like something that one of those sweet boys would wear in Final Fantasy 15. And this takes this almost into like medieval library page territories. Are these thrifted soccer socks? Maybe. And the library alkalite age energy is something that I gravitate to a lot actually. I think I should put it in my kind of Venn diagram of style inspiration that I have no explanation for. I feel like a pretty cool chick in this outfit. I almost said costume. Same thing. But if I were to be going out and about need a little extra warmth, I would put this on and it changes everything. And now I feel like we're straight out of a Fruits magazine sometime in the 90s. Also another huge inspiration of mine. I love how boxy it is. Ha! 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 Any, any other takers? For an outfit that I'm gonna be wearing where I'm just sitting at my desk all day and no one's gonna see the whole thing, I feel very cool and fresh. So speaking of sitting at my desk, I have a little bit of YouTube work I need to get done before my real work day gets started. So let's top up our coffee. By the way, do you have a nice little beverage to be sipping on? Water at least. You don't have water? It's okay, I'll wait. It's important. And while we reheat our coffee, let's quickly hear from today's sponsor. Let's talk about Squarespace. It's the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Yes, you can make a beautiful website, but did you also know that you can make custom merch with Squarespace? Design your products and production, inventory, and shipping are all handled for you. Hello, passive income stream that engages your community and scales your brand. If you'd rather sell in person, you can connect a Square Reader to the Squarespace app and it'll keep all of your orders, inventory, and customer data synced up with your online store so that in person events are a breeze. And maybe you want to offer extra perks for mega fans. You can provide paid membership access to exclusive parts of your website using member areas. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash Kathleen Illustrated to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code Kathleen Illustrated. Now on with the show. Oh yeah I have a question for y'all. Does anyone else use Amaretto creamer? I feel like I'm the only person in this silly little thing we call life besides my dad. That, that was too much. Oops. That uses this stuff. Amaretto heads rise up in the chat and if you see me with an International Delights Amaretto sponsorship you know I've made it. So here's the deal for this morning's YouTube work sesh. I'm working on a little sponsored Instagram reel. So I sent them around one and they had just a little bit of feedback. So I just have to add an additional voice over note somewhere in here and then uh, get it uploaded because I have to post it in 30 minutes. I think I can do that. It's really interesting as I've started to work with brands on sponsored content in the last couple months, it's been a funny change of perspective because for my day job, I work with artists and creatives to make custom either content or artwork or designs. Um, so I'm usually on the other end of this, giving the feedback and working with people. So when I'm working with brands, I kind of know like what information they want up front, how to portray myself in a way that says like, I'll be nice to work with, I promise. Because I know what it's like to work in collaboration. It can be hard. And also it gives me the insight when I'm talking to like prospective brands that I haven't, you know, signed a contract with yet. I see the language that they use and I'm like, I know what you're doing. No tea, no shade. I'm hungry. Do I have time to eat? There's always time to eat. Whoa. Wow. You wanna see something else amazing? Got my anime hair spike strong today. And if it were you, you might want to, you know, flatten it down, fix it up. But how else is anyone going to know that we're the main character? Do you ever think about that? 
As I got started on my work day, I was like, why am I feeling so lost in the sauce already? We just started, babe. It's because, what'd you say? Yeah, exactly, I haven't made my to-do list yet. Thank you, Jelly. Gotta have a to-do list, you know? I've checked two, count them, two tasks off of my list. That's a good day. That's a good day. Also, guess what I just found out? Y'all, we get to go watch Alien, the movie, outside on this blustery fall evening. So now we have something to look forward to after work. Isn't that nice? Did you hear me? I said, isn't that nice? I don't think I've ever actually seen Alien. Is that embarrassing? I don't know. Earlier, I was leaving some creative director feedback on a video and I saw comments on it and I was like, who left these? Who would say this? It was me. I left them <laughs> last week. <laughs> you know what I say? Be your own worst enemy. Be your own biggest hater. <laughs> okay, I have one more meeting and then we'll go get cozy at the movies, all right? You're doing a great job. See you in a little bit. There's, there's a basket under here. You wouldn't know that because there's a mountain of clothes inside and on top of it. I got this basket because when I take my clothes off or change my outfit, I just throw my clothes on the bed, on the floor, in the trash on accident. So I was like, all right, instead of doing that, I will get a basket and I will put all of my worn but not dirty clothing in it. And then at the end of the week, I'll either put it all away or put it in the laundry. <sighs> It's not working out so great for me right now. Some of the pieces I want to use are in this pile. I think this little tiger stripe mini skirt and this suede jacket are gonna be kind of my star pieces of this fit. Let's build it. Okay, we've got our base. This is a trust the process moment, okay? Will you trust me? And if not me, at least trust the process. Okay, now we have some texture going on up top with a little sweaty vest and a ditzy little floral pattern on the tights. Now to bring it all together. We had the coat, a perfect fall outfit, and we got a fuzzy little hat and some stompers. Ha! Got it. Okay, now can we go to the post office? I'm gonna be late. You can come with me if you want. Come along, hop into my bag. Let's go. You wanna see something spooky? This is my daily listening today. Spooky. Japanese jazz. This is the adventure of Kosuke Kindaichi from 1977. And isn't that a powerful image? So after making all of those costumes last week, my office has been left a disaster zone. And it's stressing me out a little bit. I have a couple meetings, but then after that, we're gonna tidy up a little bit. Because right now I see loose measuring tape, melatonin gummies, Ritz crackers, and a magic eight ball and a hot glue gun. You all have homes to which you will be returned. It's a couple hours later, I'm done for the day now. But um, I have bad news and good news. Bad news, I ripped my skirt. Good news, we know how to fix that. So I was thinking, the mending I did is invisible, but I thought it might be cute to start making it more visible when I've been clothing items. I'm gonna take some blue embroidery floss and make like a little X on the outside. Just as a little reminder that this has been well left. I don't know. I think it's cute. Ah! Alright, let's see. How's it look? I think it's very cute. Now I did just take this skirt off and put these comfy pants on so that I could fix the skirt. And then I had to take the comfy pants off. I think that was the hardest thing I've done all day. It's very mentally taxing. I think what I'm trying to say is that it's time to enter comfy mode while we make some dinner. You're never gonna believe. I'm gonna break this like a wishbone. Oh. Three, two, one. And then, cheers. <laughs>
Good morning. I don't know if I've spoken yet today. I'm feeling like going for a more Halloween-y vibe today. What does that mean? Mm, just like wearing black. Looking a bit mysterious. Let's see. We've done the long and long layers. We've done the short little mini skirt with the longer top layer. Maybe we do small on the top. Big on the bottom, small top, big bottom. Let's see what we can do. Also, it was hair wash day. Uh, it's actually the first time I've washed my hair since getting it dyed, and I was curious how much of the red was gonna come out. It still looks pretty vibrant. Hmm. I think it'll be a good layering option. I think we'll leave most of them unbuttoned, and then we can throw something like pattern underneath, and then some big pants. Gotta have the big pants. In theory, it's fine. Doesn't feel right yet. Right for what I'm looking for today. Let's try something else. Okay, I think we've landed somewhere pretty good. So I said I wanted to wear black, I'm wearing black. I said I wanted to do the tiny top big bottoms. We're doing tiny top big bottoms. These are the like highest rise pants I have. It's no joke that I picked up at a secondhand store in Japan a year ago or so. Yeah. I have a very specific set of skills. And then for the top, we've got this cute vintage textured number with this little bib in the front. I like to call it my rodeo clown shirt with this little flouncy, also thrifted button up shirt underneath. Kind of feel like uh, maybe not a library alkalite or page, but maybe just like a normal page, a page boy, a sword hand a bit today. Is my general aesthetic castle underling? Huh. I'm always scampering around. I'm always underfoot, but one day I will be the only one who can save the kingdom. You heard it here first, folks. And then since we have so much black going on, we got the big chunky belt to kind of break things up. Also to break things up, the green socks. Okay, now if we want to go full fall, ain't nothing much fallier than a trench. And then, ooh, frilly cuffs? Yes, please. Be very afraid. Yeah! What in the Diane Keaton? Oh, and if you were concerned from my New York video, I did I did find my loafers. If you look closely, this trench coat is half tie-dyed. Just a little DIY. It didn't work quite as vibrantly as I wanted it to. I wanted this side to be like blue, but it's a fun little uh, detail. Would you agree? There's a deer looking at me. I've been playing this game called Thimbleweed Park. I think it's called, it's a mobile like point and click Oh my god. Murder mystery where you play like an FBI agent. It me. It's a very cozy fall vibes game if you're looking for something fun to play while you're being an iPad kid. I'd like to do like a fall centric hobbies slash activities slash books video. Like recommendations for y'all that I've liked and maybe getting some recommendations from you too. Does that sound fun? Sounds like a nice resource to have. It is tea time. Come with me. sitting over here because there's a daddy long leg over there. Who's here first? My sister-in-law is like an amazing baker slash cook. What's up, Soph? And we made the Claire Saffitz almond crumble cake as my birthday gift. And it's heavenly. Told you I was an amaretto fan. Wanna try? Oh, if you didn't want it, you just could've told me. Well, We've been hanging for a couple days, been styling different looks, living our little work from home life. What'd you think? Did you have a favorite outfit? Are you inspired to put together any fall outfits of your own? You know, sometimes for me, it's hard to get out of my comfy clothes in the morning and put on my real clothes. But guess what? Every day this week that I put on a cute little outfit, it helped my mood. I felt better. I felt more productive. Not saying that you have to do this, because I certainly will not always be putting on a cute outfit to go to work. But if you've noticed you've been feeling, I don't know, a little burnt out, a little uninspired, maybe challenge yourself to put together a cute fall outfit sometime this week. If you want to share any of your fall outfits with me, please send them to me on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated. I would love to see them. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. Originally, I was going to do another day of this styly vloggy video, but tomorrow's my birthday and I don't think I'm going to want to film. I don't know. Maybe I will. Who knows how 31 year old Kathleen is going to feel? Yeah, I'm turning 
31. That feels, that feels right. Is that right? Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, go to squarespace.com slash Kathleen Illustrated to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain when you use the code Kathleen Illustrated at checkout. I think that's all. I think I'm gonna actually leave now. So I'll see you next week, one year older and a whole lot stinkier, just like you. Okay, love you, bye. Thank <laughs> you.